Today's topic is going to be NAS server cloud storage NAS server basically and we're going to talk about Terramaster F2 210 2 bay NAS. Now what is it all about? What protocols does it support? Speeds, applications and all the other stuff. Stay tuned and check out the video till full. Basically this is it guys. So we have the Terramaster cloud storage NAS server, the F2210, which is a two bay NAS. And we're going to check out all the details and specifications, but first let's check out the box content. So you have the accessory box right here and you get a NAS storage from Terramaster as I already said. Now let's put this aside and check out the NAS because it does look really interesting and the one thing that is why I'm actually so uh, thrilled to do NAS is, is because I don't like hard drives in my PCs and this is one of the solutions on how to do it so basically you just place your SSDs in your computer M.2 2.5 inch whatever uh, get more cable storage uh, basically more space for cables that are necessary and place your hard drives right here basically make a storage that is outside of your computer if you have storage for an ass of course now as you can see it's a 2 bay NAS and it has an 80 times 80 times 25 fan at the back you have indication lights for your hard drive in bay 1 for your hard drive in bay 2 and you have the LAN port indication light and the power as well as power on button it looks really nice with the aluminium uh, body and the front and the back side made out of plastic now let's check out the box and see what we got in the box content so you get your power supply of course you get a screwdriver you get uh, LAN cable and you get loads of screws so these are for 3.5 inch hard drives and these are for 2.5 inch hard drives and SSDs uh, also you get stickers so you have an example actually uh, so you could place the stickers right here on front so you know which is which so hard drive number one or number two how many terabytes and what is it for actually this isn't bad if you have loads of storages or something like that uh, you have the warranty and how to quick installation guide basically you got all of this right here now how to install your hard drives you just pull the lever out and that is it now right here you can see at the back side you have the power and SATA data connectivity for connecting your hard drives or SSDs you can see the fan blowing the air outside from right here at the back you have two USB 3.0 and you have the RJ45 connection for your LAN cable as well as the DC in 12 volts for your power supply now for this test I'm going to use uh, my Seagate Barracuda 2TB hard drives which I used in my past NAS and going to test everything out. Basically you place your hard drives like so, so you place them like this and you use your screws for the uh, 3.5 inch hard drives. So you have loads of them basically but I don't know uh, why do you need so much of uh, those. Uh, my suggestion is as always place four of them I don't know if any hard drive has actually six but nevertheless so at the back you tie up the screws on the bay on the bracket for your hard drive how to place it in you do it like you do it like so, so the front lever needs to be outside when you push it in you just close it out the click was basically <laughs> the click was basically a uh, hard drive connecting to the connectors so yeah and we're going to connect the other hard drive as well so installing hard drives is very easy and I have to mention they're hot swappable so when it's working you can just swap them and that's all there is to it now before we go into any testing at all, let's check out the main specifications of Terramaster F2 210. 
it can contain storage up to 32 terabytes so 2 times 16 of course depending on the field that you will use uh, when we're talking about those you can use write 0 write 1 uh, just a bunch of disks and single uh, when we're talking about protocols it supports uh, HTTP HTTPS uh, AFP FTP NFS uh, WebDev Samba SMTP iSCSI and SSH uh, when we're talking about the whole application and how everything, uh, how people can access, you can create out to 128 users, user groups, and you can even manage shared folders with permissions. But to accomplish all of that, you, you do need to install TOS uh, version 4.127, that is the latest version for Terramaster F2 210 and basically with that application center you can do backup you can do security business utilities multimedia and development tools this is everything uh, of sorts of the application that you can find on the web well basically on the tos application center and download them to your uh, system now when we're talking about file storage servers you can manage a mail server, web server, FTP server, MySQL, CRM systems and Java virtual machines. Now let's uh, go to the advanced data security. Uh, talking about Mac OS, uh, you have the Time Machine, uh, Windows, AOMA backup, mobile devices, TNAS mobile app. Now some uh, crucial uh, information and specifications of uh, the Terramaster F2 210. You have the CPU model Realtek RTD1296. The CPU architecture is uh, ARM V864 bit with quad core 1.4 gigahertz. It has a hardware encryption engine and system memory is one gigabytes. Unfortunately, that is the maximum that you could manage with your RAMs. I would say it would be really cool that you could personally uh, adjust it to, I don't know, two, four, eight, maybe even add some uh, SO dims or anything like that. The system fan is 80 times 80 times 20. 5 millimeters and the noise level of the fan is 18.6 decibels the power supply is 40 watts and the maximum consumption is 25.6 watts talking about the temperature the work temperature is 5 to 40 celsius degrees of thermaster f2 210 but and the storage temperature is 20 to 60 celsius degrees now let's connect the Terramaster and check out uh, the tools, the TOS application center, what else could you do and of course the transfer speed. So installing the TOS application for Terramaster is kind of a, I would say out of the whole story a downside because first you do need to download uh, I think it's 207 megabytes of INS file then download the TNAS PC application which basically automatically recognizes your Terramaster NAS on your network after that you do need to log in which is just admin without a password and then you install the TOS application with selecting the uh, INS file from your computer or you could either download it directly from the uh, TNAS uh, PC application so that kind of that process is a bit harder and it took me a while first I thought it was going to be an exe file but uh, after all it's something completely different uh, right after that it uh, indicates the hard drives that are that are in your PC and the good thing about uh, one hard drive being uh, broken basically is to show you guys that immediately when you place your hard drives it indicates which hard drives are good functional and healthy and which which ones are bad so for instance I knew this one wasn't working but nevertheless I placed it inside the NAS just to see what will happen will it indicate the standard like fully functional hard drive or will it indicate that it has bad sectors it has that it has issues with mechanic or whatever does it have so basically placing the hard drives both inside the Terra Master NAS 
it indicated that the first hard drive was working properly and the second one wasn't. Uh, it won't give you a possibility to install until you remove the invalid or broken or faulty hard drive. After that, uh, I basically, since it's hot swappable, I didn't switch it off. I just removed the hard drive from the cage and as you can see, it, it installed everything perfectly. So first of all, it goes with firmware update and after that you install everything to your hard drive. So it takes up 16.6 megabytes of storage on your NAS to allocate the TOS application and then you choose, uh, you can use the administrator name, admin and you need to set your password, email and uh, you get um, I would say a verification code to your email to activate everything. After that it's fairly simple so you have the file manager, applications, recycle bin, control panel, backup, remote access, TOS help and technical support. Uh, you even have date and time here at the bottom left corner. On the right side you have the full specs and everything that is happening so basically uh, shows you that the that your NAS is uh, properly operating you have the name the, the device name and serial I think this is serial number not sure the model name TOS version boot time and how long uh, has been uh, has it been operating how is it connected to your LAN IP address the internet IP address the speed that is currently using for whatever reasons currently for TOS application and then the transfer rate you have the CPU resource and how much is uh, the percentage of usage total memory and how much uh, is it currently in use and then you have the storage volume 1 uh, use space and free space. Basically when you go to the file manager you get all the uh, file and how to use your browser to upload large files uh, please use SMB and F AFP file service instead if you're using uh, large files to uh, upload them through your browser and basically you have all the folders that are currently on it since it's a blank uh, hard drive you do need to realize that it will uh, completely erase all the data when you're setting up your hard drive to your Terramaster F2 210. Now going to the applications you can see you have the recommended all installed beta versions and settings so you could basically let's see recommendation you have a Dropbox, MB server, Google Drive even, iSCSI uh, target, iTunes server uh, OneDrive, PDF Reader, uh, Text Editor, Snapshot. So basically, even the cloud storages can be stored on your NAS and you can use them as your cloud server. So this is really cool. And you can browse through all the applications that are here. So Net2 FTP, OpenDrive, Orange uh, HRM, PCloud, uh, PHP, BB. Uh, PHP my uh, admin and all the other stuff okay let's leave the page recycle bin everything you delete from your NAS it goes there and then you can finally delete it so nothing is permanently deleted until you do it uh, then we have the control panel which gives you the possibility to arrange your users user group shared folders permissions uh, network services with network file services, Telnet and SN SNMP, web, web server, discovery service, you have the uh, storage manager for volume, storage pool, hard drive, virtual disk, external storage, hot spare, uh, general settings like region and language, hardware and power, notification, security, update, you can even set up uh, emails uh, to your, as you can see if something is happening, you can get a notification uh, to your uh, email, mobile device, whatever. Well, basically not mobile device if you don't. If you have an email installed on your mobile, then you get mobile device uh, notification. Uh, you have the system information like hard drive information, service status, resource monitor and system log, which is a good thing to have because then if something is wrong and you get a notification with uh, system log and service status and resource monitor you can check out all it's more like based on uh, system administration I would say that and this is really cool because you're getting into a new level of 
using data storage nas and everything so for now really satisfied let's go to the next thing you have the backup option so you can r sync backup and you have time machine so you can go back backup list everything you have stored and you can manage an exact time to back up your system remote access so you have a uh, tos tns online which you can download to your uh, mobile phone and access your files through that you have the tos help and everything else now uh, what i want to do is basically test out the let's check it out to test out the speeds for instance now we're going to try to transfer file one file uh, from network storage to another network storage so one NAS to another NAS the second NAS will be Terramaster F2 210 uh, with a file large 5.6 gigabytes and now we're going to see how fast so the speeds go up to from 50 to 60 megabytes per second taking into consideration that Terramaster F2 210 is well let's say a budget NAS which has a really nice user-friendly uh, TOS application to support everything that you do so you can go with backup you can go with uh, loads of different protocols you can make a file server uh, you have one gigabit uh, LAN port, you have two USB 3.0, you have a really nice design actually because you have, look, an aluminium part around, you have a fan that isn't hurt which is very important, basically a long time ago I had a NAS that it just started in the middle of the night to turn on and the fan was just so loud it was unbearable, I think it was around 40 decibels and this one is barely heard so this is really cool because they stated it's 18.6 decibels and honestly I hear the hard drives more than the fan. So that stays as they mentioned. The Terramaster F2 210 is basically a really cool NAS in other terms because it has a hot swappable possibility and for instance you have an issue with your hard drive just like I do and you can basically just plug it in and if you're into RAID 0 or RAID 1 it can automatically manage everything and copy the files as they were supposed to well if it's RAID 0 then you lost all your files so RAID 1 place your hard drive inside and you're good to go it copies the files you just need to adjust everything into the application uh, all in all really satisfied with the looks first of all the looks are really nice uh, the silver part does look really cool and you have the indication lights for your hard drives which indicated immediately that this was a bad drive the TOS application is very user friendly you can navigate through it without any issues the only downside is the initial start and the initial installation of the application that needs a bit of a tweaking it would be much easier if you use an exe file if there was an exe file but since you're doing everything on, on your browser then it's kind of understandable so guys if you're looking for a affordable NAS for your hard drives and you want to remove them from your computer just like I did and you don't want something too loud Terramaster F2 210 cloud storage NAS server is the way to go I mean if, if it's not loud if you could do a write one and back up your documents you can uh, do whatever you wish with, even make a cloud uh, server or a cloud storage system this is how you could do it guys thank you for watching this video i'm putting the link for the terramaster f2 210 in the description below so you can check out the price uh, and where to buy it of course and basically if you like the video don't forget to click the thumbs up button subscribe if you already didn't for future videos because I have more cool stuff coming up for you and I'll see you in another one thanks bye bye